Hey guys, it's Matt from the Hickory Grove here. Um, I just want to show you guys something cool real quick. And uh, it's a little trail snack that I like to have. It's a great time to pick them this time of year, and that's why I'm showing you guys. Which I'm, I'm sure you've heard of these. It's very common. A lot of people use them. Um, but these are rose hips. You can see them. Got a little leaf off there. Uh, these are a great little trail snack or anything if you actually want to forge these a lot of people do and um, They're high 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 in vitamin C and that's their main thing They've got like I've heard like 20 times more vitamin C than like an orange um, So these are great great additive to put into your cupboards um, a lot of people you can eat them as you go I wouldn't eat a whole lot of them because the uh, seeds that are on the inside have like these little fibers on them um, which will kind of irritate your uh, intestines and and all that kind of stuff as it passes through um, so a lot of people make them into like jams or teas my favorite way is tea especially when it's cold um, but to identify them it's uh, the main thing is it comes off a wild rose plant um, which you see right here it has the thorns all that kind of stuff it's too late to show you what they bloom like um, but wild rose is pretty common to know um, another identifier is these little black dots on the end kind of look like pupils um, all they are is like a growth that you'd see like on tomato type thing um, but when you squish these guys they're filled with seeds and that's how you know. Um, but usually after like the first frost that you get is when you want to pick these. That's when they get a little bit sweeter and the juice that's inside is real juicy when you bite into them. Um, and you'll start, as soon as you start uh, foraging these, you'll notice which ones are ready and which ones are not. Because some of them are really hard. Some of them are just really ripe and squishy. Um, in some areas you can find some really big rose hips. Here on my property they tend to stay pretty small so I don't forage them too much unless I'm making tea. Um, yeah, it, they're pretty easy to find. If you guys can see them right in there. There's a clump. There's a clump. They're all through this little rose bush right here. Um, and they spread way up on the hill. But yeah, it's just another little trail snack or backyard foraging item that I thought you guys would enjoy today. I know it's very familiar with people, but yeah, rose hips. If you want to learn more about them, send me a message and uh, I'll spin you up on what I know. Um, yeah, and if you got any more information for me, please message me and let me know. Um, other than that, we're going to start getting out in the woods here in a couple weeks and uh, getting winter, winter camp picked out and set up. And we're going to do some awesome winter camping this year. So, so yeah, guys, uh, enjoy the rest of your week and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.